Hey, it's Sam, and I'm talking today about the August 2022 Vedic Astrology forecast. We have five important shifts that are coming up. I'm going to be talking about them in this video. Um, Mars-Rahu conjunction um, in Aries until August 10th, then Jupiter and Saturn are both retrograde for the whole month. Sun goes into Leo in the middle of August, bringing a fiery and purposeful truth. Then Mercury goes into Virgo, exalted. This leaves Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and Sun all in their own signs from August 20th until the middle of September. So very powerful, especially later in the month after a fiery beginning. Now, um, again, I'm going to get through this very quickly. It's going to be a succinct and powerful video. But, um, you know, before I do, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content and also ring the bell leave a message, and again, wherever you watch videos online, please share this with others. I also want to let people know, as you can see, it says astrologytraininglab.com. This has been started up again. It's a daily forecast site where you also get a monthly forecast. And again, it's important because we're starting August. You're going to get a August calendar where all of the transits for the month of August are diagrammed. You also get a monthly planner. This is put together from Melissa. Um, one of my great students and teachers, um, and also daily forecasts from Sebastian. And then I also have bonuses that you get, about 10 hours of bonus classes, as well as full and new moon forecasts. So I'll be doing a full moon forecast in the middle um, of August as well. So again, it's only 50 cents um, for a two-week trial, and then you get the daily forecasts um, and whatnot. And then after two weeks, if you want to stay a member, it's only $39.95 per month. Again, you can leave whenever you want if you don't think that you want to keep being a member. But again, I think it's a great thing for you to try. People always ask me, what's the best way to stay in alignment with the daily astrology or to really learn? This is one of the best ways. So try it out for two weeks and see what you think. So again, we have these five most important shifts that are happening. First, we start with Mars-Rahu conjunction in Aries, and that's until August 10th. Um, so it's an explosive start to the month. We currently have Mars-Rahu in Aries, and it's been there, you know, for, um, for much of July, or for all of July, in fact, started in the middle end of June. And so we've seen a lot of the change and transformation and explosive potential of the recent few weeks that's going to continue into early August. And again, that could be sudden and shocking changes in your, you know, in your personal life. We've seen a lot of the things in the world, you know, politically and um, with culture and people's frustrations. We've even seen like a lot of fires and record heat and temperatures. So this is going to continue through um, early August until August 10th. Then Mars goes into Taurus and things start to calm down. So until August 10th, you might still really express, I mean, expect that, you know, intense Mars, um, you know, sort of fiery nature. And especially as it's also joined Rahu, which makes things even more explosive and more dynamic. By the way, it's also joined the outer planet Uranus, which makes it um, also sort of unpredictable if you use the outer planets. But even if you don't, Mars Rahu is quite intense. I talked about that even going back into last year. We also have for this entire month, you know, the first month that we've had both Jupiter and Saturn retrograde. They'll both be retrograde until October. So this is a time when we're reflecting on our teachings and our commitments, our long-term commitments. What inspires us is Jupiter. It's literally called Guru in Sanskrit. So it's really time for you to be reflecting on your teachings, your teachers, what inspires you, that sense of meaning and purpose and hope in your life, and what you're committed to and working hard on and concentrating, which is the Saturn equation. So both of these planets retrograde is not unusual. They go retrograde several months out of the year, but to have them both retrograde at the same time and you know, with the month of July being the first month where they're both retrograde, they're also going to both be retrograde through August and September. But now we're going to really feel that desire to go inward and find what's really inspiring. And Jupiter's in Pisces, which is quite mystical and metaphysical, and Saturn is in Capricorn. So there's a lot of power to really connect and destroy the teachings that aren't working, 
really introspecting on the higher metaphysical teachings and then recommit to that path rather than just be all excited about it, right? Both Jupiter and Saturn retrograde. So expect some shifts, maybe even some confusion around those things as you're recalibrating. Then August 17th, big shift, the sun moves into Leo. The sun is the ruler of Leo. A lot of fiery purpose and truth returning to your world. Again, the sun is the ruler of Leo, so it's like the king on the throne. The sun is the king. He's the one that is empowering all the other planets. All the planetary light that we see, including the moon, is all sunlight. There is no moonlight. It's all sunlight. It's all the reflection of the sun bouncing off those planets into our eyes. So the sun is the only source of light in your mind and consciousness as well. So when the sun is in Leo, it's like the king is on the throne. It means that that part of you that is fearless and non-deterred, undeterred by any kind of adversaries or whatnot, stays on focus, stays the course. Um, and not because you want to get into fights and defeat others, but because you see the great benefit that can come from your presence. So very powerful time and issues of confidence and competence and responsibility and duty will be important. So again, being in alignment with what you want to serve in a higher way will be important. And again, that's for that's for about a month. So from August 17th until the middle of September, you will have that shift. And then August 20th, Mercury moves into Virgo, which now means that that faculty of discrimination, which is Mercury, um, is very focused and very internalized and organized and internalized. It's, it's good for things like editing, like if you're doing any kind of work, reflecting on it, getting all the details, precise understanding and comprehending what you think you know and what you believe. Um, again, very powerful Mercury in Virgo. And he's going to be there for several months because he's also going to turn retrograde and then go back again. Mercury is going to be in Virgo for quite a while. I'll do a separate update on that. But this also means that from August 20th until the middle of September, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and the Sun will all be in their own signs. Jupiter's in Pisces where he's the ruler. Saturn is in Capricorn where he's the ruler. The Sun is in Leo where he's the ruler. And Mercury is in Virgo where he's the ruler. That means all of those energies are going to be very empowered to give you the intelligence. Again, so Jupiter in Pisces gives you that discrimination to weed through and to let go of bad teachings. Saturn in Capricorn gives you the capacity to concentrate on things that are worth concentrating on rather than wasting your time on things that are just, you know, trivial. The Sun in Leo gives you the inspiration to pursue what really lights you up. And Mercury in Virgo gives you the discrimination to recognize fact from fiction, to get the story straight in your own mind. What does this really mean? It's going to be very powerful from the middle of August to the middle of September with all four of these planets in their own signs. And by the way, even when the sun goes into Virgo, he's going to then join Mercury. So even after the 20th, um, there's still enormous amount of power as these rulers still stay intact. So really a fantastic month. Again, it's going to start off quite fiery with Mars Rahu still in Aries. But again, even that, Mars is the ruler of Aries. So it shows where your spiritual practices and your physical practices and your discipline can be very much supported, but you need to be careful of the frustration. And there could be some very intense world worldly things like we've seen. So again, this is the overview of August succinctly and quickly. Hope this was helpful. Again, I would definitely encourage people to look at the daily forecast, the monthly calendar, the two member videos per month on the new and the full moons at the Astrology Training Lab. You can go ahead and check that out and click that link. It's a two-week trial, only 50 cents. You'll, you'll get access to all of the bonus courses and as well as two weeks of the, of the forecast and whatnot. And again, if you enjoy this, please like, share, leave a comment, and you have a great August. Thank you.